Hello everybody, I'm Dehame from the Hammer Game Channel, welcome back to another video, and to Kaiser Redux, where today, we're gonna do something that's a little bit challenging. We're gonna be playing as Liberia, in Africa, it's not very often I play in Africa, to be honest. Uh, and we're gonna be getting, as you can see from the thumbnail, the wonderful Herbert Hoover. He will be leading us to glory, as we uh, hopefully take over America, and uh, Help it retake its freedom from those uh, pretenders that are all going to be fighting over it. So let's get into it, shall we? So currently we are led by Mr. Charles D.B. King. I don't know what the D and B stand for, but he is a labor profiteer. So our monthly population is going down, but our construction speed and production efficiency cap are slightly up. We currently have three lovely national spirits. So when I say national spirits and lovely, um, yeah, they're... They're not great. Uh, the Reliant on America, the Liberian Frontier Force, isn't completely terrible, but it's not great at the same time. Crippling debt crisis is, well, crippling. And the slavery scandal of 1930 is still plaguing us, so we do have some work to do. Ah, we picked up another national spirit, which is bringing down our recruitment population factor by 98%. Yeah, um, I hope we can get rid of that at some point, because that that is just awful. Interesting development in Russia. The Russian Socialist Republic is here. So Russia turns socialist has already had an effect on the world. The Reich's Pact has grown. Georgia, the almighty Don host, and Finland have all quickly joined Germany to seek safety. Azerbaijan has also joined the Reich's Pact now. It's not going so well in the world right now. There's a lot of syndicalist and socialist nations appearing. We have the Australasian Union here now. Not a major threat to the world, but it's still another syndicalist nation that we really do not need. Well, the Bolsheviks have returned to Russia. Bolshevism lives on. And we have G Grigory Zinovev. That's, I, I, I'm hoping that's how we pronounce it. So the government is considering a bailout for the economy which is just in complete tatters thanks to the Great Depression and now obviously Black Monday. Um, so we have three choices. We can ask the USA, who we have very close relations with. Of course, we are currently a nominal puppet of them. However, they have a long list of issues at home, so it's unlikely that they will help. We can seek help from the German Empire, who is in much better shape than the US, although still dealing with Black Monday and the effects of it. Um, however, we don't have a good relationship with them. And the last choice is we approach Fire the Firestone Corporation, who has a large economic influence here and aren't burdened uh, by operating nations with shopping lists of issues. So, yeah, they are going to be very exploited, exploitative, uh, but we're going to ask them anyways. So, yeah, we get the Firestone bailout infrastructure. And civilian factory construction speed goes up by 10% and so does uh, the popularity of the paternal autocracy. Well, 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 Ching. You have cooed the government, I see, Puyai. Ah, everyone's favourite Italian dictator has taken power in the Italian national social state. Hello, Mussolini. It's a good thing you get your top hat on or would be blinded by the sun reflecting off your bald, shiny head. Great, the Kingdom of Finland is gone and has been replaced by the Finnish Socialist Workers Republic. I'm sure they'll be kicked swiftly out the Reichs Pact, because if they get to stay in that, it's a little bit cursed. The New Zealand crisis, oh no, the Australasian Union's got a little problem, and that little problem is Bernard here in New Zealand. Don't know if that was a good idea, Kolchak. Uh, what? Idle Ural is here, and you got guaranteed by Kolchak. Okay, the Tres Trobolt Dictatorship with Paval Dibenko. I have no idea who you are, but I really do not recommend you have that kind of moustache. That is, that's trademarked by someone else. Wow, Philippe Patan's actually sticking around. He's just held on to power. Wow, Russia is getting through the leaders. We now have Stefan Prachenko. Hey, Huey Long Dong got elected president of the USA. Good for you, Huey. Shame it's not gonna last. Oh dear. Oh dear, King. What have you been doing? Wow. So, basically, Firestone Rubber has 
been slipping money into the pockets of King and the TWP's leadership and they have ignored reports of so-called human rights abuse and reports of modern slavery. Wow. So, a journalist, uh, Scott Fitzgerald, he wrote the book on Obama and the Mau Mau revolt. Uh, he's wrote a new book and basically it's a, a massive expose on Firestone's use of slave labour and uh, the government's cosy relationship with them. And yeah, basically, uh, King is being demanded that he um, resign. However, he will fight these false accusations. We need to take this option if we want Firestone to take over. And the Freemasons have been a powerful force within Liberia, especially within the True Whig Party. That's the TWP, or obviously current government. Uh, however, they have uh, completely abandoned uh, King and left him for the wolves. Things are just getting worse for King and the government. The socialists have used the current situation uh, in their favour and have rallied the people against King. So Firestone has intervened in the current situation. They have used a lot of uh, their money from offshore bank accounts, of course, um, to amass an army of mercenaries. We do have a couple of choices here for like the radical socialists or the uh, totalists to take control here, um, but Firestone's going to push back. Ah, perfect. We have done restructuring the economy, which has got rid of the crippling industry thing and also the Black Monday uh, national spirit. So we're kind of dealing with stuff, slowly but surely. Russia's went anarchist now. Like, they, they've literally went anarchist. They are the free territory of Russia. Oh, it was going all too well for Kolchak. We now have the people's sardom. Uh-oh, Mosley. The British catastrophe. The Union of Britain is... Oh, in a good position. This is what happens when you try to make yourself a dictator, Mosley. It has begun the Second American Civil War. What we want to happen is basically them all to struggle to finish one another off. We need this to kind of just go on for as long as possible. And with the start of the American Civil War, the American refugee crisis has begun, which sees us gain a weekly manpower of plus 5, but we're losing 0 0.5 stability a week, and our daily political power gain is done by a minus 0 0.15. I don't think I've ever seen the monarchist restoration in Georgia happen before. So we now have a new leader. We have Lansdell K. Christie. Basically, um... The situation in Liberia is settling and Firestone's ever active mind has begun to wander once more and he sees that his African playground, as he refers to it, is now stabilised. It's time for him to take flight in, um, for other pursuits. So he's then put uh, Mr Christie in charge. He's his second in command so he's now the acting CEO of the Firestone Company's Liberian dealings. Whilst he goes elsewhere to do whatever the hell he's doing. So we're now the American enclave. So the Savoyard crisis has just occurred and it looks like France got hee-haw from it. So who backed the Swiss? Oh, the Austrians. Seriously, France said okay to not get anything? Well, there's confirmation of the new friendship between the Swiss and the, uh, the Austrians. The Swiss have joined their faction. The Spanish Civil War is also over, but I don't remember seeing it fire, but CNT were victorious, so the Iberian Federation is here. So both the home nations have secured independence. Wales quickly followed Scotland, who's now controlled by Reverend John White. And that pops. I, I don't know how I feel about that. The American flood. So basically, a lot of Americans are seeking refuge in Liberia. So Liberia opens its borders. Local population in Green Coast goes up by 1,250. The gates of Liberia lay wide open. Holy crap, Bulgaria. Bulgaria and Albania are winning. What the hell? He's here. Former President of the United States, Herbert Hoover, now stands at the docks of Monrovia with a small cadre of his loyalists. Namely, if we should restore the office of President of the United States right here in our enclave or not. Oh my days. Benevolent President Max Volunteers. Attack bonus against the combined syndicates plus 25. Quietly settlement of Freedom Fortress said no. He is now our president. There he is. America lives once more. And we have a brain drain from the United States. 
We have a crisis on the Danube, which is not good for the Austrians, as they are now at war with Poland as well. It does have... Yeah, it's an alright size army. Hungary is their greater threat, who's currently a social democratic nation. Well, that came out of absolutely nowhere. Harvey Firestone Sr., the chairman of Firestone uh, Inc., has... Um, and, the, well, and the active head of state of Liberia has died. I, I really don't see the benefit in copying only the best. We're going to be the best soon. You know what, Germany? We're going to be the best. Uh, we're currently fighting corruption with the Libertarian Frontier Force. However, once we've finished that power tree, they are going to be pretty good. So a whole load of field marshals and generals, naval commanders, and also operatives have arrived. They're all safe from the horrors of war in Liberia. We also get some local population growth as well. Well, the Belgian independence didn't last very long, did it? They're getting absolutely demolished by the Germans. Ah, yes, the Batavian Commune. That seems fantastic. Can't say I'm shocked at all. The Germans just absolutely steamroll in the Batavian Commune. They need to cover their flank. Flanders just became hella thick. Well, these pair actually make up their minds what they're doing. You've calmed down. You've decided to let the Nat Pops take control, and that's a... I, I, I don't approve of that flag. Did Bulgaria bottle it? Oh, you idiots. How did you mess that up? You were winning. You were at the doorstep of Belgrade, you fools. Why is everybody flipping to syndicalists or radical socialists or totalists and joining the Third International? Oh, my days, is all kicking off. So the Sublime Ottoman Federation is under threat, and uh, Korea has also risen up against the Empire of Japan. They just control the south right now. Oh my days, is that a building slot I see? No, it can't be. So, King Edward's abdicated the throne, and George VI is now here. Oh, I am so happy right now. We've completed the Liberian army, which not only has got rid of the settler nation national spirit, which was bringing down our recruitable uh, population by 98%, we've also gained... The, uh, li the Liberian Frontier Force armed and ready. Look at how chef kiss that is. So tasty. Well, 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 China has really united here. And German Middle Africa took everything from Portugal. Like they took the whole of Mozambique and uh, Angola. The longest are here. Damas D. T. Craw, William Jefferson Blythe Jr. both become generals. Bryce C. Clark and Lyndon Baines Johnson both join us too. And John S. McCain Sr. has become a naval commander for us. And we also get some local population growth as well. Welcome, Minutemen. Is this the start of the collapse? I think it is. Let's just stop doing that. We don't care about the Duke. What we should probably do is we should actually maybe do the Star of Africa and strike German West Africa. Yep, there we go. Confirmation that Middle Africa is no more. So the time is nigh to strike German West Africa before they do anything else. Really, France? Really? Oh, well, I guess I'll demand Sierra Leone from you. Oh, France, you're... Oh, you're dicks. Second Weltkrieg time, people. Here we go. The world is at war once again and it's a what the feckin' hell are those borders? There we go, the Entente have sprung into action. We shall just wait a little bit longer, and then we shall strike the French state, because they're already as weak as piss. Austria has officially declared war, uh, so there was initial progress, but ultimately the German demanded that the French state renounce future claims to Alsace-Lorraine, which was refused and proved to be the breaking point. Well done, France. You just effed yourselves, basically. France thought they had cut me off from declaring war on folk. Here we go. It's hard to tell if this is really going well for us. They kind of death stacked in, um, in Accra. I'm sending our four divisions now to naval invade, but it'll remain to be seen if we can actually win there. Hopefully we do have a port being built right now, which should be done on the 21st of May. So it's not the end of the world. I don't know if, if you got a, is there a supply depot? Nope, there's not. Okay, so yeah, we, we basically have to hope that we take this bloody port, which 
They're looking more in our favor now because they're spreading themselves out. Oh, wow. We, we actually cut them off. And we've taken it. Oh, my days. Happy days. And we have won. Get annexed Gold Coast. That's really not what we needed. We did not need a Nigerian free state joining the Entente. Ahaha! That is what I call an encirclement. Oh dear, oh dear, Togoland. Dear, oh dear. Looks like you have been encircled. There we go. The capital is completely surrounded. So it's only a matter of time. We've killed 83,000. And Togoland is dead. Get annexed. Oh, well, well, well. What a feckin' surprise this is. The Germans are losing. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. I'm, I'm not needing to fight the International at any point during this. Surprise, France. Surprise, surprise. Oh, that's cute. I can, I can send them a peace deal. Oh, we are not ready for peace. I want more. I'm hungry for more. Do you know, a lot of the members of the International are wanting to sign on aggressions. I will happily sign that with all of you. I shall send Portugal a peace offer for the memes. Oh, we are getting hella thick, boys. Hella thick. Holy crap, Ukraine. What the? You're hella thick as hell. And I died at uh, the... Yeah, Europe is now syndicalist. That's for sure. Well, there goes the Reichspact. It's gone. The end of an era. Wow! That is a monstrous commune of France. How the hell did the Austrians manage to peace out? What? What? Why would you let them do that? You're dominating them. Oh, we made it through the Sahara Desert, finally. Holy moly. That that took its sweet ass time. Don't, don't mind us, lads. We're we're just we're just chilling. How many divisions the French got left? Apparently still a decent amount. Oh, ideal, we're breaking through everywhere. Hello, hello, France. It is I. Your friend, Liberia. Ah, oh, you cannot stop us now. We are too strong for you. Come on, can we take Laghaust or Laghout, however you pronounce that? That is a supply depot. We need that rapidly. Yes, Barbara. Barbara, you absolute queen. Algiers is gone. Take Constantine. They're they're gaping. They're gaping for you. That's that's not a, probably a good use of words there, but they're gaping. Go for it. Ah yes, the French state is gone. England, why did you get that much land? Why did you get this bit as well? Can we have the peace deal actually? That would be like very nice if we could just have a single peace deal for this. Oh, we do. Well, thank you, England, for helping us, but um Yeah, this this is all mine. And then it was a two horse race. I'm hoping they continue just to weaken each other out whilst I do something to get over to North America. The Mississippi ceasefire. Right. That's really not weakened you guys at all. Hello, Nigeria. I feel like there's actually quite a decent amount of yous here. Oh, you little sons of guns. Flipping sides. Oh, you little, you little cheeky buggers. Ah, oh, that's a pretty nice encirclement we got there. Ha. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's right, Canada. Suck it. Oh, we've lost 127k. Wow, I've actually killed 47,000. Oh, yeah, I forgot to point out we're actually the United States in exile now. It's time for round two, baby. Oh, it's too easy. Of course it's too easy. My divisions are like 10 times better. If you're wondering why they don't have uh, all of their equipment, it's because they're now 40 combat with. To Central America, we hopefully go. Hello, Central America. How are we doing? Your new overlord is here. Well, not so surprisingly, this has went very, very well. 63,000 dead. I was going to say, who the hell is invading my territory here? Bloody Panama. Oh, you made such a silly, silly mistake. How dare you think you can take on the United States in exile. I love how Colombia has been struggling like this whole time against Panama and I've just came in and killed them. Oh, isn't that such a beautiful Central American Republic? I did keep uh, ownership of the canal, as you know, why wouldn't I? 
They may be our future enemy, but thanks to them, we now have the means and ability to naval invade the pesky Canadians who have dug got a single ship covering the northwest coast. Well, hello Vancouver. Welcome to your new owner. Perfect. We have successfully grabbed the port. That is exactly what we're needing. Oh no, Canada's decrypted me. Oh well, it's a total shame that I'm definitely not absolutely butchering New England right now. So yeah. Oh, finally, I've managed to cut off a big chunk of their army. Because oh my days, this is this this is this has been a drag. Yes, slaughter them all. Canada has a ridiculous amount of divisions, but oh by days we are we are jumping up. We've actually killed more than Union England now. Congratulations to us! Oh, the American Civil War's finally finished. 32 to 145 divisions. The good thing is they should be getting hit by some really bad What's the economic aftermath? The Civil War political aftermath. Where's the resistance from folk? And New England has a war goal against them? Please, please stupidly declare war. It'd be hilarious. Canada, surely you should be trying to move to cover this front. Rather than just sitting here. Oh, they are moving. Oh well. That's not going to be a good idea, actually. Let's grab that. Ah, uh, yes, the panic has set in. Ideal. Grind on my line. Grind on it. Welcome, 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 Federalist Exiles. New England has capitulated. Come on. Finish off the Canadians. And by the way, the the you and Britain and I ain't getting nothing from this. This this was like all me. And the war is over. Wow, Canada did not have fifty percent. I only got fifty percent of the spoils. Oh, that is bull. Well, I have to say, it's nice having New England back. We've just got to deal with one last threat. It is indeed our destiny. America will be ours. We're just gonna try and force our way through. The west coast, the east coast rather, um, and then I'll maybe call Canada once I've got a kind of feel for the situation.
Holy moly, we have done it. <coughs> Looks like Cuba's getting away. Unbelievable. Anyways, Nom. Schoner's in charge of German East Asia. Eh, good on him, I guess. And what has become a momentous day for America and the world as a whole. Herbert Clark, who his middle name's Clark, what the hell, has returned to the White House. It has been years since he last stepped foot into the building, and it has not aged well in his absence. Shaking his head what appears to be the conversion of the family dining hall into a military planning room, Hoover took his time walking through the structure and reminiscing about old memories. When he was finished, Hoover, feeling dirty in his new White House, opted to take a bath. As Hoover left the room, he was greeted by one of the few White House staff left from his presidency. The staffer, asking how Hoover felt about being back in the White House, chuckled when the elder statesman replied, Too old. As Hoover looked at the south lawn, he felt a sense of shame, but also one of duty. This was his country after all, and even if he felt tired, he had a responsibility uh, to the American people. This time he knew he would make his people proud. And we uh, gain Hoover's New America, which is a very nice national spirit. Does our tree change? No, we just we just stay as well, we just stay as the United States now. And we do have all core territory, we've got all the factories, all that jazz. Um that was a very fun playthrough. That was very fun. Um, I would, if the war was still raging in Europe, try and take down the Third International. Um, I I just cannot be f bothered fighting all those divisions. I guess we could have teamed up with Austria if they were still doing their thing. But uh, I'm going to leave that there, so I do hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. And um, I should be back very, very soon for another episode. So until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer bye. Then out.